Hey everybody, welcome to Jason Explains Things. If you like taking your 4Runner off-road, you're going to love this video. I just added some awesome overlanding mods to my truck that make carrying and securing gear way easier. First is this awesome full-length roof rack from LFD Off-Road that makes it capable of carrying a rooftop tent and other gear like Max Tracks. Whoa! Next are these rad Molly panels from Victory 4x4 that make important gear really easy to find and grab at a moment's notice. We got that one. We got that one. Wow. Now, all these are really easy to install with basic tools, and they mostly use factory mounting points, so there's very little drilling or cutting required, with the exception of a couple small holes on the back molly panel. So let me show you how I installed them, and then stay tuned for the end of the video for some thoughts on using them today off-road. Yay, parts! Oh, guys, this has been coming for a long time. I waited months for all this stuff to finally show up. The roof rack system is uh, from LFD Off-Road from Boulder, North Carolina. In my earlier video where I did uh, uh, crossbars from them, I said that they were from Colorado. I was wrong. It's from North Carolina. So yeah, this is really cool. So this is their cross, uh, this is their side rails right here. Now one of the really cool things about LFD Off-Road and why I chose to go with them is because they are probably the most cost effective in my opinion. So if you see up there, I have the factory uh, roof side rails. Um, but I you know, didn't want to install all this stuff and buy all this stuff right off the bat. So what I did is I bought their crossbars that fit it either in their full length side rails or the factory side rails. So now when I finally get to this point where I'm ready to do a full new roof rack, I just have to buy the crossbars, a different front fairing because theirs is a little different as cutouts for the, for the roof. So you'll see that in a second. But then all I had to do was buy two more bars. So it actually, you know, you, you know, you put a little, you know, you invest a little bit of money and then later on down the road when you're ready, you invest a little bit more and then you have quite an awesome setup. Uh, so I'm really excited about that and that's where we're gonna start. Um, now for the interior, I have two Molly panels from Victory 4x4. This is for the, uh, one of the rear windows and then this is for the rear hatch. And then over here we have some examples of stuff that we're going to be mounting for fun. So yeah, we're just going to set all this stuff up and uh, come along with me. I'm really excited. Ugh. And because people are jerks and they like to hit forerunners in parking lots and then and then not leave a note, we're going to be replacing a mirror cap because uh, because I need to replace a mirror cap. Yay! Ooh, have a look. There's definitely some dirt from this seal. Um, we have this nice seal, but it did make contact right here. Be forewarned, if you choose this crossbar, it actually touches the roof itself. Um, and uh, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. That's, you know, I'm, I'm not super pumped about that, but it's also not the end of the world, so. The new one will not be touching the paint at all, so good stuff. With the crossbars off, now we can remove our factory side rails. To do that, you need to remove the plastic cap at each corner, uh, and you wanna use a nice, good quality bone tool to do that. Chris, what do you think of factory mounting points for roof racks? I think it takes all the fun out of it, Jason. <laughs> I'm jealous, to be honest, that looks quite simple. <laughs> looks really bad with no roof rack. Oh man, let's fix it as quick as possible. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna love the extra height. That's gonna be sweet. Mounting a rooftop tent on, on the factory sidebars was not fun. Right, Chris? Right. You were there. So but, uh, we want this, of course, to be watertight, you know, because water inside your car is bad. What they recommend is using some high quality uh, silicone. Uh, do a nice bead around each of these holes. You see the plastic liner there. We just wanna go on the outside of each one. Um, and then we're gonna squish it down with the spacing block that they pr provide for each corner. And then just before installing it, they say squirt a tiny little bit of silicone inside each hole again, just to make sure everything is watertight. Well, we have our side rails and the rearmost crossbar and the front fairing crossbar ready to go. Oh, actually, one important thing about these, uh, you don't want to put a lot of downward force, either tightening or loosening them, because apparently the nuts on the other side, inside the roof, are just uh, spot welded in place, so. 
Okay, we're gonna torque these down all the way uh, a little bit later, but now we can do the other crossbars. For the other crossbars in the middle, install them as you wish. I spaced mine out to be able to install my new Max Trax traction boards and then evenly spaced out the rest. Come summer, I'll likely be adjusting my crossbars to install a roof tent towards the rear and other gear towards the front. Never done this before. <laughs> That looks better. <laughs> that new roof rack looks really, really cool. I love that thing. Okay, let's move on to our two Molly panels we're gonna be installing. Uh, the first is really, really easy to install. It goes right here on the side window. Um, the other one is gonna go right here uh, on the rear hatch itself. Now, you can do, of course, uh, covering both windows, but I'm just gonna do one Honestly, this one I still use quite a bit while driving. You know, look, I, you know, look back uh, to my right to check my blind spot and that kind of thing. So I use this window. This one I really rarely ever look out of. So I don't really feel like I'm losing any visibility. Okay, let's start with that guy. Cool. Well, we got to remove the, uh, a hook right here and a bolt right here. <laughs> okay, we got this bracket. It's gonna go right here. So take this, put it in there like this. Then take this, put that in there like this. Thread this in the hole, but don't tighten it up because we're gonna tighten everything up a little bit later. Next bracket's gonna go in like this. So you got your bolt, you got your spacer. Screw it in like that. We got those two brackets done, so we just got the one on the top. It's gonna go against the roof like that. You take your hook, and it can only fit in one way, which is really cool. We're gonna use our original OEM um, bolt here, attach that, secure it, and then we'll cover it up with the little flap. Attach the new panel using the supplied hardware. Tighten up all your mounting brackets, and you're done. Let's move on to the next one. Should we do another one? Should we do that one? Yeah? Toby, speak. Arr. Toby, speak. Speak. Toby, lay down. Good. Toby, install the molly panel. You gonna do it? <sighs> to install the rear hatch molly panel, you'll need to remove the plastic panel from the truck. Remove the handle cover with a pry tool, then the 10 millimeter bolt that holds the handle in. Use a bone tool and pop the corner of the panel loose. Then carefully pop out the rest of the clips. Before removal, disconnect the two cargo light wiring harnesses. Woo! All right, so we got the panel here on the ground and I have centered the new Molly panel here. And you want to line it up uh, with these three ridges, as you can see. So what we got going on here is we're gonna have four carriage bolts and spacers that we're gonna have to drill uh, holes for. Uh, one there, 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 and there. Uh, they recommend doing one at a time, uh, first drilling a small pilot hole and then a larger one. You know, and I'm really excited about this. First off, it's just, it t uh, it's gonna add more, you know, molly panel storage, which is fantastic, but also, I can kind of show you this. I'm excited that it's actually gonna protect this panel because in the past six, seven months of owning this vehicle, uh, going camping and off-roading and so forth, it's already gotten scratched up this much. So I believe that this Molly panel will pr protect this, um, which I'm very, very pleased with. Once you have the panel lined up, put a spacer in place, drill a small pilot mold, Move the panel out of the way and drill a 5 16 hole. Repeat the process for the three other holes. Then install the panel with the provided hardware. Perfect. I, I gotta be honest, I think I, I think I nailed it. Let's put this back on and this job is done. Let's get it in the lip there. Attach the light wiring harnesses, pop the panel back into place, attach your handle and handle cover, and you're done. Some final thoughts on the roof rack. First off, it is a little bit noisier uh, on the freeway than the old one was. I hear a slight hum 
And I imagine that that might get worse once uh, we're back to the summer months and the rooftop tent is on here. But overall, not too bad. Um, I love how LFD designed this. I love that they have their side rails that use stock sized uh, crossbars so you can just upgrade, you know, when you first buy your 4Runner, you get these, then you get these, and it's just fantastic. Uh, again, final thought here is, I recommend maybe waiting uh, to get a front fairing until you get their sidebar so you don't have the, the paint rubbing issue that I had. So final thoughts on the Molly panels from Victory 4x4, I absolutely love them. So, you know, for today, we've got some important stuff mounted to this one, fire extinguisher, military issue shovel, first aid kit, and then we got some radios and a flashlight up here. More stuff's gonna come up here as some stuff comes in, but I love these. Uh, we've done, I think, what, 20 miles of off-roading today, and it, everything is held, nothing's rattling or anything like that. Only negative, I'm gonna say, about either of these is these plastic spacers, they're white, and I wish that they were black. That way everything would kind of mesh a little bit better. But that is the only negative thing I can say. Well guys, we gotta get back on the trail. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications, and check out the Overland DIY playlist where all my 4x4 mod and adventure videos live. We've got more videos about my 4Runner. We've got more videos on my buddy Chris's Colorado ZR2 Bison, which is an awesome truck and general shenanigans that we film here in beautiful central Washington. So until next time, my friends, God bless, and don't forget to do it yourself. Let's get it muddier. Why not? <laughs>